wait, what is this? Okay, I think I fixed it. Listen. We should just start filming while Andrew's getting her hair home. What? So in order to keep our toy room tidy, we usually keep one bin that's kind of a random bin that when people are cleaning up the rest of the house, they're allowed to just toss random toys in, and that helps uh, keep them from shoving it on the floor or hiding it behind doors or anything like that. So Emma's going to go through this bin. Hi, Oscar. Yes, thank you. And you would say, yes, no, baby, way of doing things. Exactly. So she's going to go through and figure out, before we bother putting any of this away, how much of it should even be kept yeah. and how much should be thrown out or given away. And then the last few toys that belong with another set, then we'll put those with that set and we'll decide that later on in the day. All right, go for it, kiddo. Okay, Jacob, what are you working on? I'm doing the hair supplies drawer. This all fit in one book. I mean, you use these bamboo things keep it organized. So much different. Even the markers are here. So we just had an example of why we use the yes, no, maybe method. Uh, Jacob and Emma, the questions started to come to mummy as to mom, what do I do with this? Mom, what do I do with that? Mom, do we keep this? And with one mom and six kids, I could never, ever, ever keep up with all of that. And I would just sit and answer questions all day. So this is what this method is about. So instead of coming up with those answers, that's what goes in the maybe pile, right? Yes. Right. So anything that has to be asked of mom, then I can sit down and I can handle one pile at one time that has all those questions. Yeah. David, what cupboard are you doing? Shocking, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the reason why we have so much of this, we actually purge through this regularly, but daddy works away from home and we try and send him with freezer meals. And Andrew also tries to take meals to work. So we actually keep quite a few containers. And then we keep a few other big ones for bigger leftovers. Uh, and the pantry hasn't been done yet. So we've got some pantry storage containers here too that I think will disappear when we do the pantry. So a lot of this though, however, is like a container will break or the lid will break and then they kind of get mismatched over time. So we're gonna clean through this and make sure everything we have is matched and sorted and is an appropriate size that we like to use regularly. And go at it, have fun. So the kids have started working on the toy room. Now I, uh, I didn't really give you a chance to show you around in here before they got started. So I just wanted to do that now so you can see. This is supposed to just be uh, play food that goes with the toy kitchen, but it, uh, it ends up collecting a lot of junk. Now, because we haven't done this, this used to be really organized with craft supplies and school supplies, and instead, it's become a holder of junk as well. So uh, I think a lot of the stuff will end up keeping, but it needs to be purged through. And our play kitchen used to be well-loved, and it just doesn't get used anymore, so it holds junk. And then we have another set of toy pins. And some of these toys we have to make decisions on now, like these little people uh, and some stuff over here. We've got some Playmobiles and stuff. And that's what we're gonna go through. We're gonna go through a bunch of those decisions and decide which toys do we still use and, and which ones have we grown out of. That's what we're working on. Okay, Emma, you finished that bin. How was it? Good. Yeah, did you have fun? Yeah. Okay, so this was all a maybe pie. And I'm really not totally sure if we're going to be keeping these toys or not, but we're going to decide all together. And there's other bins that we haven't gone through yet. So, for example, we'll get all of the Polly Pockets together, and then we'll decide the Polly Pockets all together. Uh, we have a garbage pile here. I have some donations over here on the other side of me. Lego, uh, garbage, and, uh, and we're just going to get these put away. And we have two bins done so far. Yay! Okay, Jacob, how'd it go? Good. This is our hair clips and hair ponies. We've got some scissors, hair accessories, and some combs and brushes. This is what we're not keeping. All the garbage. We don't use these. There's some old grubby hair clips and those are not these. Okay, and then what's on the end? These are actually for dolls, so we're not going to use them in our hair. Awesome. Thanks. 
So we put back uh, the regular containers that we use regularly for leftovers and making up meals for Daddy and for Andrea. And this is kind of what we're left with. Uh, these are all mismatched containers and lids, and we're just going to set them in a box to the side right now because it's possible that they're with Daddy. Daddy's in the trailer right now, and they might be with him. Um, and then these are actually for school supplies, for science experiments and stuff. Uh, these ones are for doing the, the pantry, and I suspect we're going to find bags and stuff from the store that need to go into these, so we'll hang on to those, but they're not going back in the cupboard, so the cupboard is not overwhelming anymore. Yay! I just need my coffee. Why did you have cold coffee on a day like this? I don't know. I need to go to Starbucks. You need to have coffee. No, because the coffee was cold though. I wasn't about to try and heat it up and have tepid coffee. Hey, that's mine. I changed them. Mountain biking. <laughs> it's called mountain mountain bike. Like you like bike into the mountain. Ew. Oh, careful, David. <laughs> oh, it's the bar. I don't want to listen to it crunch under your weight. I have to fix my hair. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's protein week. Okay, and so the guys are in the garage right now. No, we're not. They're no, mostly we're not. in the garage, <laughs> and they're just cleaning it up, making space so that we can put like all the garbage bags and donations and big stuff to go to the dump that we can't just like leave on the porch and stuff. So yeah, they're just making space. So they're putting the bikes on the side of the house. If you want this, tell us, because we're throwing it out. Ryan doesn't want that anymore, but I'm pretty sure Mom's going to object to that notion. But anyway, that's what we're doing right now. Spear. Ow! <laughs> that's a rug. Look at all this awesome dirt. <laughs> Oh, oh, David. David, oh, David. Day one was a great day. We had a great start to our week. We got through a good chunk of the toy room, got a bunch of it sorted. Not a lot out yet, but that's okay because we have to get it organized first. Got some of the major kitchen cupboards done that we needed to get through and the bathrooms are almost completely done. Just a little bit to finish up tomorrow. We ended up not going anywhere tonight. Everyone was feeling pretty tired after the first day and they really wanted some downtime tonight. So we stayed home and we have a little bit of a longer errand list tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's actually gonna be a bit different. Uh, and that's tomorrow's our day to go to the beach with some friends of ours. So in the morning, we're going to take care of some regular household stuff, mow the lawn, things like that, and, uh, and get ready for a fun afternoon. And then we're going to pick up again. Uh, if you're uh, looking forward to the next day and you're following along with us, how this can help you out and helping your kids come alongside and getting rid of a lot of the excess in your home, this is tomorrow's day right here. Please, we'd love to have you join us. And over here, if it's something the more interesting for you, YouTube thinks you're really going to like that video right there. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.